Wayne Higgins and his girlfriend Heather dated for four years before he finally popped the question. They set a date and started planning the big day. There's one thing they failed to consider. Wayne, who worked as a postal worker, had lost weight and developed a persistent cough. First, he dismissed it. It progressed and it just kept going and it wouldn't go away. And I would eat things and it would make it happen. Just any exercise would make that cough come up. Heather finally convinced Wayne to see a doctor. I, I could hear a rattling when he breathed. He, he just could not stop coughing. He would just have to literally wait it out. It turned out that Wayne had fluid in his lungs. A number of tests gave no indication of what was causing the buildup. Doctors even considered it might have come from his military service in Desert Storm. Finally, Wayne had a laparoscopy. Heather called his hospital room from work. And then I said, well, do they know what it is? Uh, and he said, yeah. And I said, well, what is it? Is it tuberculosis or, you know, desert storm disease or any number of things? And um, his voice cracked and he said, no, it's cancer. Wayne was diagnosed with malignant mesothelioma, a cancer that normally shows up in people in their 60s who have been exposed to asbestos. Wayne was 25. Even with treatment, the doctors gave him a year to 18 months to live. Heather and Wayne's dreams were shattered. So, the way I described it later was I just felt like someone pulled the pin on a grenade and threw it to me and said, here, Heather, catch, because, <clears throat> you know, I was just about to have my future. And uh, I just felt like that was getting ripped away. Despite so, the horrible news, Heather still wanted to get married. I asked Wayne what that meant to him. <laughs> it meant that I was going to be marrying the right person. <laughs> Just... On June 14, 1997, they married, in sickness and in health. Those vows had a lot of significance, more so for he and I than I think the average couple, but a lot of our family and friends were there. It just was such a joyful experience. Everything we had hoped it would be, it was, because we really needed that. The couple faced another big decision, Wayne's treatment. The doctors recommended radiation, but it wasn't a cure and offered little hope of even extending his life. With much prayer and discussion, they decided against it. The only real hope they had left was prayer. Wayne often poured his heart out to God as he drove to work. Dear Lord, just please hear my prayers. It was a time for me to just pray to God, saying, God, this is my desire. I really want to be, more than anything in the world, a husband and a father. It was also good because I was able to say, but God, you're, I want your will to be done. My mom gave us the scripture, Jeremiah 29, 11, which says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to give you a future and a hope. And that really kind of became my prayer for Wayne because I wanted to get old and wrinkly with him. Over time, Wayne lost 50 pounds. And every six weeks, doctors drained the fluid from his lungs and abdomen. In the meantime, they started a family. Eleven months after we were married, I got pregnant with our first daughter. And when the kids came along, I just really wanted them to know their dad, because he's a phenomenal father and a wonderful man. Wayne, Heather, and hundreds of family and friends prayed daily for healing. Another year passed, and another. Two more children came. Wayne put on weight and looked healthier, but every six weeks the doctors drained more fluid. Then finally, something changed. I'd go in and it, there wasn't as much fluid. And then at one point, you know, in about three or four months period, I went in and there was nothing, no fluid. Four years after the diagnosis, the fluids completely stopped. And today there's not a trace of cancer in Wayne's lungs. It's a miracle they attribute to God's grace and prayer. He's alive because of it. And we give the testimony and we try to give God all the praise, honor, and glory because he is a miracle. Wayne's a miracle. I've had 10 years of being a husband and I've got four kids and those were my two prayers originally. Just, I want to be a husband and a father. And I've been given that and I, I love it. Heather recently gave birth to their fourth child. She rejoices that her children will grow up with their dad, and she'll grow old with the man she loves. 
My husband is not alive and well because I'm super Christian. He's not alive and well because I storm the gates of heaven with prayer every day. He's just alive because God is merciful. And God is love.